What is poppin' squad and beautiful people? It's your boy just saying, man, and welcome if you're new. Today, man, we're talking about why people still play the Division 2018. This is a question a lot of Division YouTubers get. Why do you still play this game? People still play this game. Da da da. This and da da da. That. Well, I'm here to tell you, look, there's a lot of reasons why people still play and people will continue to play all the way up until the Division 2, even if it's not your cup of tea anymore, you feel me? So, um, little backstory, like, let's say you weren't around since the beta days. So, off tops, the beta days were some of the greatest times that we've had in Division, period. Um, that was like the birth of my channel with the Sticky Bomb meta. That was like the AUG days and the early Vector days and the M1A days and long long before the, the reign of the ars and the strikers and the preds and the nomads and all that good stuff right um the, the the same stuff that people say is what killed the game i'm here to tell you look listen i'm gonna make myself clear with this um i'm not gonna even go into full detail there are people who definitely enjoy the division genuinely like I'm not even saying I'm not one of them because I do enjoy the division. Yes, I get bored. Yes, we all, you know, get tired of the same thing in a sense. But some of us do love the core concept of the division and will always, you know, no matter what, even if the game is six players in a lobby, it's just the division has held a special place in a lot of people's heart for a long time, dog, for two years. There's not many games that you play, uh, past its first year release that are like mainstream like i would say like a cod or like a battlefield things like that die off in a year and you know the, the numbers dwindle and yada 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 normal people hold division to a higher standard people hold division as if it's like a a counter strike or or like a i don't know like a rainbow six siege type game where it's supposed to have replayability no matter what right um division is two years old ladies and gentlemen it came out in 2016 and we, we hold it to a standard that's like 2018, right? Um, we expect people to to be active in the community and go towards the devs and have them fix things, right? Fix things as if the game was just released yesterday. And believe me, there's a lot of things that I wish patch 1.j would drop. You know what I'm saying? I already told everybody, I have a whole patch list in my head that will make this game alive, like it's not dead, but I'm talking alive and breathing. I'm talking more and more people want to come. I'll call it Patch One Boy J, and I'll make it the most fire patch of all time. And that's what I, I have that in my head. And I would love for that to happen, even though the game's two years old. All you have to do is add some things, and I feel the game will be perfect in my eyes. But sadly, that's not the case. Uh, the developers' eyes are, of course, on their new division, which I want it to be. I want them all hands on deck for Division 2. I don't want no more updates for Division. It's fine. I mean, I get it. People are like, but, 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 no, listen. I'd rather them put all their energy into Division 2 and fix it and have it right and have it good for launch than... Um, Kind of put seasoning on, on a game that we've been playing for two years right that's that's just how i feel but why why why, why still play then you know what i'm saying like if there's no updates um if we if people don't like what we have right now what's the point of even playing it you say i mean why do you still play it? one obviously i love the division i mean without a doubt it's you cannot question that at this point if you, if you think i'm like some kind of division hack train fanboy whatever you sound crazy you're not an og you haven't seen me from day one i've been holding down the division forever i don't care nobody can question that but i do enjoy the pvp aspect that's how i play the game i don't play it to farm i don't play it to make pve builds i don't play it to to do the global events i, I just don't and that's just not wrong or anything but that's just not my cup of tea what i like doing is going man and going off you know how we do you know how squad does that's simple but as far as other people most people i can say on the train that i play are the same way they they come to play at the dark zone they come to play pvp with their builds on a game that that's fun mechanically uh that they're used to you know what i'm saying used to definitely used to comfortable um despite the toxicity despite the arguments despite the stress that some people could do regardless you know what i'm saying besides all of the fact you know but one thing you can notice is through all the toxicity, through all the problems we have with Cronus and with Pred Bleed and Striker and Nomad procs and, and heal delays and all these little problems, a lot of people, in a sense, still play the game. And it's not I'm not saying it's it's competing with Fortnite, like it still has millions of players. No, that's not the case. But one thing that that cannot be ignored is the fact that there is always a lobby somewhere going on as if people are just, you know. 100% enjoying the game. They're still playing it even through all the broken things. And that says a lot about a game. You know what I'm saying? If if you have clear, overly broken things that you complain about, 
and you still play this game for hours on end, there is a reason. You enjoy the game. You enjoy the concept. You enjoy the, 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 the thrill of trying to survive a manhunt. That still stands with you, and I think it does with a lot of players. And it, the people who decided to quit, you know what I'm saying, I'm not putting no shade towards y'all. Um, but usually, if you're in my chat or you're in my comments saying, why do people still play this game? We need to give up this game. You're just saying that because you decided um, that the game was dead. You decided that it's not fun for you no more. And you want to drag everybody else with you because you really have nothing else to do. Because most of your friends probably still play Division. Because a lot of people um, who have Division friends still play. And there are a lot of people whose whole friend bases have left the game. And that's totally understandable. Um, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But that doesn't take away from the people who do enjoy the game as is. And I feel no matter how many times I say that, people are still going to ask that stupid question. Is Why do you still play this? It's because it's the division. It's what we've been playing for two years. And we love it. We love the face tanking. We love the, the clutch heels. We love the strafing. We, we, we love the team play. We love popping them heels and getting them clutch downs. We love finishing people. We love that stuff. And I think... Regardless of what we say about it being broken or stuff, you are still going to rank this in your top three games of all time. I don't care what you say. If you're a two division player, it's definitely in your top three um, through all the broken stuff. So imagine if, if it was just a little bit better, refined, and still going active. You know what I'm saying? You would you, you wouldn't even question anything else. It's it was Fortnite before Fortnite. How how Fortnite's the hype train and how everybody was on it. That's how everybody was when Division was at its peak, bro. Everybody wanted to be a Division player. Um, all the big streamers and all the big YouTubers had content on it because it had the potential to be crazy, right? And then the people who hung on, such as myself, we, we watched the game evolve into something some people like and something some people don't like. Me, personally... I can do without the classifies. That's why I do like Rogue 29. As you can see, this whole gameplay has been Rogue 29. And this is a whole... I mean, this is a Rogue 29 server. And you can see how popping it was. Um, let alone the, the level 30 servers, the people who really do enjoy that, which there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel, personally, the people who've been around the game since jump are more keen to like the rogue 29 and the older systems and dislike the classifieds versus the people who came like 1.6 and they think classifieds are the best thing and that's where it's kind of like a split fan base when it comes to that but when you ask why do people still play this game it is obvious we enjoy it people still enjoy it. i've been making content on this for two years and the, and you're right a lot of people are right i should be doing a lot of other games and it's not that that I should leave the division because it's, it's not frugal when it comes to views or it comes to whatever. It's it's hard for me because, one, I'm, I'm so used to it. I mean, that's all I've ever really done. Um, I'm 100% capable to do anything else, but it's just I just have fun. When, when, whenever I have good times in division, it's just it just reminds me why I started my channel on it in the first place and why and why so many people came to support me. Like, like the reason you guys are all here even watching this video right now is because of division. Uh, most of us met who met is because of division. Um, you can see right here, like, look at all these people. People all over the place, whether they're toxic, whether they're insane, clapping, emo, it's still the division family, you feel me? And I think people forget that because the, the ego trip and um, the builds and the problems, all, all these things combine, create an atmosphere where people feel like like they're, they're entitled to things. And you got you got to realize, man, it's the division. Um, we're not going to get what we want if we keep complaining to the point where we're, it's like kicking people off uh, off the hype train. You know what I'm saying? People don't even want to play Division anymore because of all the things that people spread around. They hear about Cronus Max and this and that so much um, that it, it kind of turned them off to the idea of even playing the game. Right here, I got a clutch and they look at that. Boom. But anyways, uh, I don't like the, the negative stigma that people who come to my channel just to tell me that I shouldn't play this game. Um... You got you got to respect that. I, I consider myself one of the division OGs. You feel me? I've been playing since day day negative zero, bro. I've been on this thing since as early as you could possibly play, bro. And I've I've stuck through. I've stuck through no matter what. There's been times where I feel like you know I don't even like playing this game. And we all have our phases, but at the end of the day, the division was a perfectly executed, um, beneficial nightmare if that makes sense. Because no matter what. Uh, negative things we go through, we're still going to play the game. We're still going to put ourselves in situations where we're going to be dealing with people talking trash and, and doing all that. And then that's kind of the beauty of it to some people. Some people like that confrontation. Um, you don't get that with any other game, e even right now. So Division's way ahead of its time in that regard um, as far as community. Like, now you have the people who consider themselves 
like like the warlords of the division because a lot of people left and um it's cool you know what i'm saying like I'm, I'm, I'm all for it i have no problem with it and i still enjoy dropping people off and i probably always will no matter what there is no question that your boy will always stay with the division <laughs> in some degree always it, it, it's just you guys have that that insurance and i you will always see some kind of content from me with the game um whether it's revolutionary or whether it's just common, it's just that's what we are. We are a bunch of people playing a game that that is that is normal and common to us. This this is our game. This is the community's game. Nevertheless, the changes that we didn't get. Yes, we don't get our our requests specifically for like shotgun management, um, by fixing auto aim and the probably all this stuff. But at the end of the day, it's still a division. You're still gonna play, and this is why a lot of people still play the game. I still play the game because I like it. You still play the game because you like it. The stranger that's about to comment on this still plays the game because they enjoy it. They enjoy playing Division on their off days. They enjoy chilling with their friends and going and farming. Whatever it is in Division, that is exactly why and that is it. No questions asked. If you if the game's not for you, sorry to hear that. See you in Division 2. If you're still a Division fan and you're still rocking with it, I will gladly, gladly embrace you and gladly tell you there ain't nothing wrong with it. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy, man, this Rogue 29 gameplay with this little uh, little life little life lesson for the people who are hating on the Division, man. Enjoy the game for what it is. Be hyped for Division 2. Keep keep your hands warm by uh, enjoying the game as is. And, and uh, i see you guys in Division 2. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for next video. I love y'all. Stay blessed, squad. Your boy is out.